everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable satchel memory book. So I've put, I've actually done double, so the, the it's just one and then I've stuck them back to back. And these, this holds all, well, nearly all of them. I've got a few more to stuff in here because I've got the pockets on the front and I've done one there as well. But inside here are all of my old letters that we used to write to each other in school between me and my friends so actually in here are all the letters they've wrote to me and then I know I'm still close friends with many of my school friends they have the ones that I've wrote to them and it's really funny when we've had a few drinks and we've had the girls over um, to have a look through these but I've always had them just not really easily accessible um, so I've wanted I've had they've been on my mind to document and store in some way for, for a long time and I finally got around to doing them and found something that works really well. So this is actually in the colours of my school uniform. I've got a little tag here which says Ridgeway School 1993 to 1998. Obviously you don't have to have it as a school theme, you could have anything in this and there's a photo mats that you get to go in all of these pockets here. So you can pull the pocket, pull the photo mats out and you can use it as a you know a little album as well it's very easy to do it's really really fun and I'm just I'm in love with it it's so cute and adorable I put the little handle on as well and now it's just going to sit on my shelf and it's just easy for me to grab and have a laugh and read <laughs> whenever I want so let me show you how to make this really fun little keepsake Okay, so this is the die set here, so you can see just how many you get. And the great thing about this is inside it has really easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. So I've pretty much followed everything. I am going to be removing these side pieces, which I'll show you in a minute, because I quite liked the thought and the look of being able to see everything inside. But you can see how they're attached there, but I'm actually going to remove those. Well, I've done one, but I'll show you the other one. And also they use two of the hinge system. I actually only use one. I think it's fine. I've not got anything really heavy in it, and it's not something that I'm going to be going to a lot, you know. So um, there are some little changes that I've made, but everything is there. And um, yeah, you've got these decorative mats and layers. I've not used them, I've only used this top one here. The cardstock I've used is this gorgeous, you can see it's like, um, it's got like a, they're all different colors. It's kind of like a holographic sparkle on the black. And this is by Paper Mill Direct and it's their charcoal sparkle print. But it's, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's really, really nice. So um, as I mentioned, the colors I've chosen are obviously because of, they're my school colors. Now I'm doubling mine up. So I've already done one and you'll see there by cutting away the bottom, you can see inside, I just really like it. But if you want to have that piece on, it just will then go underneath this little closure um, and it will all be concealed. But we're going to make another one of them. I'm going to stick them together with a handle in between so that I've got that really cool little memory box. So I've die cut these two and you'll see what you will have your, when you die cut them and they're like this now I did manage to get these through my standard die cutting machine as well so you don't need an A4 you might need to just trim or help a little bit on the sides but I was able to get them through okay but I've die cut two but you can see there where I've just cut that piece away on this one but if you want to keep it you'll see how that would then work you just fold and burnish your score lines and that will come up underneath there so it will completely conceal that whereas I've got it open so it's up to you what you want to do, but I am now just going to just trim that away really neatly. And then you can use that to cut other little pieces out of if you need to. Okay, so I'll put that back in, back in my scrap drawer. So yeah, just fold and burnish on the score lines on these pieces here. And then you just want to stick one over the other like so so i'm using i've used i've kind of mixed between the um art glitter glue or cosmic shimmer or any you know kind of liquid glues and the kalau glue because um i just use on like the smaller areas i use the art glitter glue just for quick grab on those tabs but these larger surfaces i'm using the kalau just for that strength really I've just stuck that down and i'll give that a minute to dry so whilst that's doing that I die cut the hinge system here. So it's this die and it will give you this piece here with all these score lines. Now it's not until you look closer that the score lines are different widths apart. So you've got one here, then you've got these two that are the same, then you've got a smaller one again, then you've got two that are the same and a smaller one, two the same, smaller one, two the same, and then you finish with that smaller one. And that will make sense when we go to fold it in a moment. Also, just to show you, that's that die that I die cut twice. So you can see they're nice and big. Okay, so 
got the mechanism piece here. So what you want to do is where you've got the two that are the same next to each other, you want to make them a mountain fold. Okay, so a mountain, I've got two together there, there a mountain, two the same there, there a mountain, and then those two there are a mountain. You can kind of see, you actually almost get a square shape. Then all the others need to be valley folds because what's going to happen is you're going to stick the two mountains together. So where you've got those two there, you end up, we're going to stick them together, but everything else will become a valley. So you'll have a valley, then a valley, and that's that smaller piece. And what will happen is when we stick the two mountain ones together, the two valley ones will join up. And it's that flat surface that will end up sticking to the mini album or the, you know, the base of the, the little satchel. So I'm just going along and just folding all the rest so they're valley folds. Again, this is all explained and shown on those instructions as well. And then finish with that valley. So again, if I go back and put all those mountain folds together, you see all of the valley ones will then be along the bottom, as they should be. And that's where we're gonna add our glue to this piece. And it's just the one big area then to stick down. Like I said, they do, die cut two of these for it but um, or you'll see in a minute when we, we lay it down so you know if you want to follow that exact they do these twice but I'm now just going to pop some glue into those mountain sections and they're the two that are the same size that are side by side so you know once you've got it just have a look and you'll be able to really see those pieces so it's the two that are the same that are side by side that we're sticking together and then I'm missing that smaller piece I'm going into this one here and again sticking them together and you'll see now all of those smaller sections start to sit next to each other and on this side we've got these here and there be our hinges that's what we're going to attach the pockets to. Okay so underneath now on the, you'll see all those pieces are now stuck together well they sit next to each other on this side all those mountain folds we've done are all now stuck together to create four hinges. And just fold them each way, just to get it kind of used to being in that position and moving that way. Okay, so whether you've got one or two, you will then stick it inside here. Now if you want to add any mats and layers pattern paper down here, you can. You'd have to cut them yourself because there aren't any. There's the die that will cut this one which is the matte layer for the pockets. But obviously it's quite small to go on there, so, but you know, now's the time to stick anything down if you want to. But again, I'm not really doing that just because of what I'm using this for. Um, it's just for myself with some of my very funny old stories um, and letters and things in. So I just want it sitting in the center there and just move them those hinges both ways just to really make sure that's all stuck down. If you're going to have two then you need to sit one here and one there. I'm pretty happy with those hinges now. Okay, I'll just bring it up just so you can see how that looks. Like so. Then you want to make your pockets. So I've already done three and at the moment they're just these hollow pieces because it's this bottom bit here which we're going to attach onto those hinges. So for those you need to die cut two, for each pocket you need two of this one here and you'll see it's got a little tab. You've also then got this one here, I then went and die cut that in the black and you would need eight of those pieces if you want to mat both sides of the pockets. If you want to have this pattern then you would die cut that with this one at the same time. Now I've not done that because it's flowers, it's not really in keeping with the theme of my one because it's a school stat satchel, but you do have the option there. Okay, so they're the dies that you'll need for your pockets. So I've got two die cut, see the hinge here? You just wanna fold that hinge on both of them. And I've already stuck the mat on top as well. And then I'm just going to run some glue just along there, okay. And then you're going to grab the opposite end, so you've got the hinge on this second piece. You're going to stick it along here. Just line it up. So, so you'll see now it just opens up. And then on the tab on the opposite end, just add some glue. 
and then just push that one in and stick that one down and it would just line up perfectly and just burnish them like so. So now you'll see again you've got that and you want to have four of those. Next we're going to attach them to the hinges. I've, this is the way I'm doing it, you might decide to put glue on one side of the hinge, stick it into here and then add glue everywhere but basically all I've been doing is just put my glue, thin bead of it, you might want to use red liner tape but again I'm finding it works okay with this, just a very small amount and then I'm going to sit it, open it up, line it up with the, make sure you know you've got an equal amount overhanging and get it right down onto that hinge and then just move it as it starts to dry both ways like so. And you can see there it moves really nicely and then just go along and do that on the next one so again just a very thin bead of glue and now I can just line this one up with the one that I've just stuck down. You can see in there that it goes on okay. Yep line it up with that one and again move it both ways just to make sure it's all secure and now you've got your second little pocket there so I'm just going to do the same with these two okay so if I bring that up you'll now see I've got my four pockets I just find that the easiest and quickest way to pop them in but if you want to use red tape if you'd rather do it that way then you can do but you can see there they move really nicely and they're really secure as well so next I've cut three of these pockets okay and that's using this die here all right so just three of them I, well I say th you may want to do four if you're not doing two of these you might want to have a pocket on this side as well because you can see one of the pockets is here and then there's a pocket here and a pocket here again you can see the, all of that inside so what you want to do is all of the inner score lines you need them to all be mountain folds and then you just work out with a concertina fold from that one so I just pop them all in so then the next one, so that's the, the mountain, then that's the mountain, yeah, then this would be the valley, and then a mountain again. And basically you want to end up with all of the pieces, the last pieces should be facing inwards. Okay, so I've gone ahead and already put two of them together. So what you then want to do, once you've got all your folds, you see all my pieces are facing inwards. You need to pop some glue on one of the sides, just the bottom just about like that and then you're going to bring that one over and just squash it down and because of the way that they've been cut they've been cut on an angle there they all fit really nicely together when you kind of squash it and you can see there you still get that concertina fold right in the corner there as well so again on this one just popping a little bit of glue pop that one underneath everything lines up and then I just squash it down get rid of any of the glue that comes out like so okay and then I'm just using my very thin this is the naught point not naught point sorry I think it's three mil and it's one eighth of an inch and I'm just popping it on all three sides again if you want to use liquid glue you can but I just found it was quite easy using this here so one's going to go in here and these are really handy um, because I'm not doing the photo mats because you can have little picture mats and stuff with the dies. Mine are just, I'm just using them as pockets to hold all those letters. So I'm going to bring this one down quite close to the bottom there. Again, make sure it's equally spaced and just push that down. And then I'm going to pop the other one. You see when you bring them up you've got room for them to all sit really nicely together and then this is going to be the front because that's where that piece kind of curves around and I'm going to stick that one there but I'm going to wait and do that when we go to put the lid and all the detail on so I think it'd be easier for you to put it all together really so next we can do the lid so that's this piece here which is this die here okay and then I've also cut all of the detail pieces which sit within the die. You can see what, what's what there. So I've got this one here, I've got this one, 
and then I've got this to go on the front. You've even got the detail for that, but I didn't feel I needed it for the front. I quite like it plain. So again, you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. So they're just all mountain folds, just like so. This one is gonna stick onto the front here. And then the red one I'm gonna lay down and then that kind of lattice pattern I'm gonna lay down over the top. So I'm gonna stick all those down. Okay, so you can see I've decorated everything there and then I'm going to use some, I'm going to use the slightly thicker tape here actually. So I'm just running, do it that way where it's already cut on an angle from the last one. So I'm just going to run that along there and then you're going to stick it onto the back one. So I'm just going to line up the score line there, down, you can see that and just fold it over. So now bring that around like so. Okay. okay next you want to cut two of these here for the sides so that's this die here and you would also want to cut some more while you've got the die but you'll need two more for the front and you'll see them here but I'll explain that again in a moment. So what's going to happen is you will stick this over this one here but you only want to stick a little bit of it so you want to actually open it up so you want to pull the butterflies up and then on this side here, just want to add the glue just around the outer side and maybe just a little bit on that middle section because it will kind of touch. And then you want to pop it on this one so it's in a horizontal position. And you'll see this horizontal slot will sit over that one there, just slide it through, open it up and you can really squeeze everything down. You can see now how you get that cool little locking mechanism. So again with this one, just open it up. Again, I'm going to stick it on this one first. You might want to pop it through the slot first, so you know that you've got it exactly perfectly straight I guess, but I'm quite happy doing it this way. And they give you a little bit of room, can you see you've got a little bit of extension there and that way as well so I'm just going to make sure it sits in the middle like so. Okay next we've got the straps. Now I actually die cut three, well no I've die cut six all together, three on each one. I've stuck them on top of each other using the cloud glue so it's really strong. So obviously this is how you're going to be opening it and it's this one here. So it's up to you, depending on what cardstock you start with, if it's a strong, this uh, this red is actually quite thin, um, so that's why I've done them, you know, that many times. So um, I'm going to add my glue. So you have these little kind of little notches. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pop my glue between those two sections. And then I'm going to lay that so it comes right up to the score line there and it sits between the two little kind of notches there. And that way you know it's nice and straight because you're lining up the bottom of that with the score line. And you know that they're gonna be in the right position for when we add this part and the other locking kind of mechanism. It will all line up. You've gotta make sure you keep them between this. So now when I bring that down, you can see you've got that effect there. Okay. Then you want to stick this onto the pocket. So this one here, again, I've die cut two of them just so it was a little bit stronger and it's this one. You've also got a little sentiment that could go in the centre of it which says, I don't actually know what that one says. Let me just, because it's back to front. Something me. Hmm. From me? Possibly. Yeah, I think it might say from me. Um, Anyway, so I've die cut two of them, but you've also got this one that says loves and hugs, love and hugs, sorry, that can also go in the centre. I'm actually going to put the date of when I was at school in there, so I'm going to print that off and, and pop that in. So I'm leaving it and then I will die cut another one to get that perfect shape with the date in it. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the back and around that frame. Okay. And then with these ones again, just bring out butterfly, like so. And then we want to sit, stick this one down. Now before you stick this one down, what you might want to do is pop them through this little slot first and open them up so they stay in there. 
Okay, so there's that one. Okay, I'm then going to pop the glue on this, like so, and then I'm going to line it up and stick it onto this piece. And you can move the slots, so if I bring them both down that will probably be easier. Pull them right down to the bottom of those slots, like so, and then do it. And that way then you know that they both line up. You'll see there that they both fit perfectly within those circles. And you should have a little bit of a, a frame there, like that. And then I can take the backing off the pocket. The other one I put the pocket down first, but um, i do it this way as well. So now I'm just going to line up that score line with the top of this and then bring that pocket down. It's all nice and straight. I'm just going to open up the butterflies, take this back off. I can just put my hand in there and just really make sure that tape's all stuck and that one little end with the glue. <laughs> and just open that one back up and I've just realised something I've done. Which I've totally missed and that was my mat there. <laughs> so I'd cut this to go on there. Now this isn't, there isn't a die for this, I cut it myself. Can you see it's got the red? But this will be my front one so I'm not too worried. This one will go and face the back so it's okay. But now I want to stick those two together. So it's one lovely little piece. Now before I do that I've got this. So I've just cut, it's half an inch to about six inches I think. Look at that, just over six, six and one eighth. Not a bad guess. So I'm going to stick this, just kind of hold it like so and bring your thumbs towards you. And then I'm going to stick that in there. It creates that really cute little satchel look. So I'm going to use the quick grab glue, like so. And then I'm just going to pop these two pieces in the middle of the satchel. And kind of wiggle them around a little bit, but that looks about right there. Just hold that for a second. Okay like so. And then I'm going to cover all the back of this with the Kalau glue. So this is going to take a little bit longer to dry but it'll be worth it because it's going to be so strong. Again if you want to use double sided tape over all this you can. And then I'm going to literally just stick them together and I'm going to rest one on top of the other just so there's a little bit of weight then. And just spend a minute just making sure that they stay Perfectly lined up. Now I'm going to get some little pegs. I'm going to peg the sides and just leave that there for about half an hour just to really set. Okay, so it's all finished. It's stuck together really well. I finished it off with a little gift tag which says Ridgery School 1993 to 1998. And I've also printed off an old image that I managed to find online. However, mine was all red. Um, with just the black background but I couldn't get that far back so this will have to do um, but I still love it it's just such a nice little keepsake just filled with those letters I've got a few more letters to put inside I have put some on that one but I, I can I, I'm going to fill it just a little bit more I've got a little bit to expand there you can see how that can come out a little bit further on this one on both sides and even on that one as well so I do want to kind of stuff it full with as many of those letters as possible and uh, yeah with, ooh, <laughs> with the little handle there as well I've also got the pockets on the front so I'm going to stuff those um, but I'll keep it like this until I've taken photos because they'll probably look a little bit messy in there but nonetheless I love this I'm just yeah I think it's adorable and I've really enjoyed putting this together so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it as always I'll link everything below that I've used and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye